Hello folks and welcome to my kitchen. The bubbling in the background is just my Irish stew. Yes, very stereotypical, but it's the truth. Anywho, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the audition process, but more specifically, I wanted to talk about callbacks and just clarify a few things around that. So, oh, by the way, I do love to reiterate that I do not get involved in the casting of our musicals. And there's a few reasons as to why I don't. The first reason being that my own son is in a lot of our musicals. And although I feel that I am professional enough to be impartial when it comes to casting, even if my own child is in the cast, it just still doesn't feel right. And I also don't want him to have the disservice of people thinking that because I'm on the casting team, that he might've gotten a certain role because of me, because that's not the case. Never has been, never will be. Another reason why I don't attend the casting portion of auditions is because I trust my team and they have a vision. They know exactly what they're looking for. And I just support from a distance, usually in the form of sending food over to the church or wherever they are casting to sustain them for the many hours that it takes them to cast a show. So with that aside, we audition our kids either in person via video submission or sometimes a combination of the two. Now, in the case where our team has seen the range from a child or an actor that they, they're happy, they've seen it, they know what this child is going to be in the show perhaps, or they know at least that they're going to be a lead or a support or an ensemble or whatever it might be. In that case, that child will not be considered for a callback. That's not necessarily a bad thing. And I really want to drive that home because unfortunately, callbacks have become synonymous nowadays with it being an, a great thing. Um, and it's not a bad thing to get a callback, but it's no better than not getting a callback. And what I mean by that is, just because you're getting a callback does not guarantee that you are going to get a lead role. It doesn't even guarantee that you are going to get the role that you are called back for if you're called back for a specific role. In the same way that not getting called back should not be synonymous with disappointment. Sometimes you're not getting called back because the team has already cast you. And yes, that can include a lead role, again, a supporting role or ensemble. So. If you could help us, and maybe some of our actors are watching, and I would recommend that they watch this as well, we really need to reiterate that getting a callback does not guarantee a lead role, and not getting a callback does not eliminate you from getting a lead role. And also to further reiterate that supporting roles and ensemble roles are, and I know it's cliche, but they are vital to the entire production. Every role in our show is vital to the entire production. So when we call back kids, when it's in person, we try to do it on the same day or the day after. Now, when we do it on the same day, this means that some kids will be kept longer than other kids. We will dismiss some kids earlier and then some kids will be kept back for the further audition, which is the callback. Again, if you are dismissed early, this is not synonymous with a particular role or I'm not being considered for a bigger role. Just as you being asked to stay longer, again, is not guaranteeing that you're going to get a lead role. So I really just wanted to make that super, super clear. Also, I know that we have done video callbacks and it was brought to our attention by a parent that this can create a lot of stress for some of our actors, particularly when we're not giving enough turnaround time for that callback submission. So I just wanna say that we're grateful for that feedback and we are going to be more mindful of that moving forward. And we are going to try and give a little bit more time with that in mind because the last thing we want to do is stress out our actors. Auditions can feel stressful. I mean, they're exciting too, but they can absolutely feel stressful. Keep your expectations in a nice balanced place and remind yourself that no matter what, if you are cast in the show, and of course that only goes for open call casting, right? If you are in a program with us where everybody gets a role, well, everyone gets a role and that's great. If it's an open casting call that we do, 
Well, then that's different because only certain kids will get rolled and then some kids will actually be cut. But that's something that we can talk about again. All right, folks. So I think that pretty much covers everything. If there's anything you can take from this, just for me to uh, summarize really quickly, it is, if you get a call back, do not expect that that means that you are guaranteed a lead role. If you don't get a call back, do not think that you are not being considered for a lead role. And finally, are all roles considered vital and brilliant? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. All right, folks, please make sure that you show this to your actors. And that's my little shtick about callbacks. All right, better get back to my beef stew.